Alright. Fun's over. We come down this trail. Did a pretty good job until we hit this sinkhole. I should have known. If I'd have gone 12 feet to the right, would have made it. But I didn't. And that's way steep right there on that side. The other side isn't that bad. We almost turned over into that hole. Not quite. Over here we can walk. So I cut a board off of the the trader. Well, first I pulled the trader out with the come along that little cheap winch I bought at Walmart. It is kind of worthless. So what I'm going to try to do is crank this thing with a come along. Got a two-ton come along. Pull the side of this. The left side up and slip a board under it. I don't know if it'll work. The right side may just sink. We may just have to leave the whole thing here. I don't know. I don't have a jack. I could have used a jack. I started to buy one of those big house jacks. You know, how much equipment can you have? Bird is over there picking berries. And I'm out here trying to crank this thing out of the muck. I got, a, got this tied off to a tree over yonder on a cable. And uh, we'll see what happens here. I got my doubts. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at the uh, wheel on this side to see if it's going down. If it continues to sink down, this method may not work. Oh, it's pulling up. Oh, it is. All right, I'm going to put the camera down. It is pulling up the other side so I can get a board under it. So we may be able to get this done. I come out to places like this took a board off of there put it under the left tire I do a tree about a hundred feet out there it's half dead but it's holding and I went and cut some trees and put it underneath the track the engine is still in the water though right there is up to your waist if you step over there we went off right here now this is this is soggy, but it won't sink. This is a really dangerous road. It's got these kind of sinkholes. I'm trying to get the engine. Oh, that is a sinkhole. I'm trying to get the engine up out of the water. It's air cooled and it's rolls of water all over everything. I'm just about there. I'm going to cut one more tree and put back there. And crank it back about another six inches. And then put it in uh, reverse. Of course, uh, right now the uh, trader's in the way. Oh, I'm going to handle that. I could just run over the trader. <laughs> You can see the front tire is completely, almost completely under, it was under. But I pulled it back at least two feet, three feet, and I ran it and pulled those, those spruce uh, trees underneath. They're underneath the tracks right now. It's still pretty bad out here. Once I get back there, I'll have to turn around and pull the trailer out and rehook. And get out of here. This place is just too bad. This is airboat material. This is where the airboats go in from up that way. And boy, I'll tell you, it is airboat country. This is not all terrain vehicle country. This is not four wheel country. Airboat, maybe a coot, uh, maybe an Argo, of course. But this rig here is just too heavy. Too heavy. Oh, there it is. 
put the about six trees underneath it and cut the trees and pull them under the tracks pull it out that plus a lot of pulling with a hundred foot nylon rope and now we got to back up turn around get the trailer out and then hopefully we can get out here without hitting another sinkhole this place is airboat country I've had it no more of this for me unless I come out here with a, a team of wild horses oh yeah here I am here's how wet I am I lost my wallet in the vehicle in the water found it all my stuff is wet I'm surprised the engine even run I ran the engine when it was half in water and that's an air-cooled engine the only thing we're missing now is a, a board for the trader hopefully that stuff won't fall out we'll have to watch this on the way back Roberta let me, I'm gonna get the ropes out of the way, pull ahead and turn around and pull the trailer back out. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull right up there, Berta. My feet are getting soaking wet. Okay. Uh, go ahead and get in. Go. Yeah, I had to find out about bad equipment that come along come from Walmart. Absolutely worthless. Everything on it quit. Nut fell off. Boat came out. That little Reese uh, winch there is supposed to pull two tons. Ha! Piece of garbage. You get out here, you really find out how good equipment you have. All right, we're going to get on this thing and turn it around back here.